Hello, beautiful souls. I know that this is difficult for you to understand, but I promise you that I am doing this because I love you. I want to be the one who makes you happy again. I want to be the one who chases away your tears and replaces them with smiles. I want to be the one who holds you in my arms and tells you that everything is going to be okay. But I can't do that right now. Not yet. I need to be patient and wait for the right time. In the meantime, I want you to know that I am here for you, even if you can't see me. I am thinking of you every day and every night. I am praying for you. I love you more than what you can see. This person seems to be navigating life from a place of guarded emotions, and it's likely that trust issues have contributed to this self-protective stance in response to past experiences or fears. They have developed a coping mechanism, the adoption of a player persona. This persona serves as a shield, safeguarding their vulnerable heart. Even if, paradoxically, it hampers the potential for a deep and authentic connection in a relationship. This means that they may have, at some point, ghosted you or departed from your life in pursuit of a more carefree, play-like lifestyle. What's inhumane is that, yet they still maintain an emotional connection to you, though they are unwilling or unable to openly acknowledge it. This emotional attachment is likely the result of genuine feelings that persist even if they are buried deep within. The reluctance to express these emotions could be attributed to various factors, such as immaturity, fear of vulnerability, or past emotional wounds that have left them wary of opening up. In your efforts to forge a meaningful connection with this person, it's crucial to understand that attempting to force or manipulate them into changing their behavior is not a productive approach. On the contrary, the more you push for change, the more resistant they may become. Instead, it's advisable to proceed with empathy, patience, and an acceptance of their complexity. By respecting their boundaries and allowing them the space to evolve at their own pace, you might eventually encourage them to reveal their genuine emotions. In conclusion, this person's guarded demeanor and play-like persona may obscure their true emotions and the depth of their attachment. Acknowledging their complexities and vulnerabilities and approaching their relationship with compassion and patience can be the key to nurturing a deeper connection over time. Thank you for your love and support. Today, I'm back with a new reading for you all about third-party influence in your connection. I sense a message that a third party is trying to impact or influence your connection with your person. This could be a romantic interest, family member, or even a friend. It is important to note that this third party may not be doing this intentionally. They may simply be unaware of the impact they are having. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe. My beloved love, your person has finally reached the saturation point and is now ready to address the mental conflicts that exist in this connection. This is a good thing as it means that they are finally ready to deal with the issues that have been causing problems in your relationship. However, it is important to remember that this process may not be easy. There may be some disagreements and arguments, but it is important to stay calm and communicate openly and honestly with each other. One way to support your person during this time is to listen to them without judgment, allowing them to express their feelings and concerns without interruption. It is also important to validate their feelings and let them know that it is okay to feel the way they are feeling. Reassure them of your love and support and let them know that you are there for them, no matter what. If you are concerned about the third party's involvement, you can talk to your person about it. However, it is important to do this in a calm and respectful way avoiding blaming or accusing the third party, as this will only make the situation worse. Instead, focus on how the third party's involvement is impacting your relationship and how you can work together to address the issue. If your person is not willing to work on the issues in your relationship, then you may need to consider ending the relationship. It is important to remember that you are not responsible for your person's happiness or well-being. You can only offer your love and support. It is also important to take care of yourself during this time. Make sure you are getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods, and exercising regularly. It is also important to spend time with loved ones who support you. 
The person you are in a relationship with is finally ready to listen to your perspective about the third party who has been trying to impact or influence your relationship. They are finally paying attention to what you have been saying and empathizing with your feelings. They want to understand your perspective and see things from your point of view. This is a good thing, as it means that your person is finally open to hearing the truth about the third party's intentions. They are finally realizing that the third party is not good for your relationship and that they need to distance themselves from them. In the past, you have tried to talk to your person about the third party, but they were not ready to listen. They were too close to the third party and could not see their negative influence. However, with the help of the Virgo season, you have been able to practice detachment and let go of the need to control the situation. You have realized that you cannot change your person's mind about the third party. They have to do that on their own. Now that your person is finally ready to listen, it is important to be honest and open with them. Tell them how the third party has made you feel and how their involvement has impacted your relationship. Be specific and provide examples. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.